Are you planning on attending a public hearing? Then here is some information to help you understand what you can expect during these meetings. First, there are a few simple rules before you go into the council chambers. There's a council staff member in the hallway outside the chambers before every meeting that you will need to check in with. They can also provide you with other helpful information. If you're hearing impaired and need sound amplification, there is either an earbud or a T-coil device available for you to use. Just ask the council staff for assistance. If you will need an interpreter, you must contact the council staff at least 72 hours in advance. Call 651-266-8560. Now let's go inside the chambers for a couple more rules and to learn more about what to expect at a public hearing. Please do not talk aloud in the chambers during the meetings because your conversations make it difficult for others to hear during the proceedings. Move to the hallway outside the chambers if you need to have a conversation. Please silence all cell phones and other devices while you're in the chambers. The agenda is an official order of business for each council meeting and public hearing. It helps everyone stay on track from the beginning roll call to the adjournment. The agenda is available on Friday before the council public hearing. There are a couple ways to get the agenda. You can view and download an agenda by going online at stpaul.legistar.com forward slash calendar or click on City Council on the city's homepage for the link. You can also sign up to receive agendas automatically by clicking on Connect located at the top of the city's homepage. Then type in your email and click on subscribe. If you didn't get an agenda prior to coming to the public hearing, no problem. The council staff person in the hallway can provide you with a copy and be sure to check in. The council is required to hold public hearings on proposed actions including ordinances, property acquisitions, utility charges, the city's annual budget, and other matters. This is an opportunity for everyone to add their comments to the public record on the matter. Members of the public who are interested in the item can provide their comments directly to the council during the public hearing. If you have a fear of public speaking, no problem. You can send your comments in advance. The council president will gavel and announce the start of the public hearing. Both sides are allowed the same amount of time, which is usually 15 or 5 minutes, depending on the topic. If there are multiple people waiting to testify, they must share the total amount of available time. Please be courteous and limit your remarks so that there is time for everyone to speak in the allotted time. There is a clock located at the podium directly in front of you, counting down the time remaining. It will start at the allotted time and count down to zero. Make your comments only from the podium after the council president indicates that it's your turn. Speak normal, no need to shout, and please don't touch the microphones. Begin by addressing the council president and the rest of the council. For example, Madam or Mr. President, members of the council. Tell the council your name and address and then present your comment. Again, if there are multiple speakers, please respect the right to speak in the time allotted. The timer will turn yellow when there are 45 seconds left. Please sum up your remarks. When the timer reaches zero, your time is finished and you must leave the podium. After you testify, please sign in with your name, address, and phone number. There are sign-in sheets on either side of the podium. The city clerk needs to add this information to the public record. Your name and address will not be used for any other purpose or distributed outside of the public hearing. If you have photos and documents that you want to show, there is an overhead camera mounted in the ceiling that will show them. There's a place to the right to display your photos and documents, only one at a time, and make sure that they're facing up. Once the item has been closed for the public hearing, there could be some discussion amongst the council members. Then it's time to vote which is called roll call, and a voice vote is taken. In the event of a non-unanimous vote, the city clerk shall identify those voting for or against a matter for the record. If any council member requests a roll call prior to the vote, 
or if any council member objects to the clerk's identification after the vote, the proceeding officer shall take a roll call vote. In all voting, the council members shall audibly reply A or nay as the case may be. If you cannot attend a council meeting or a public hearing, you can watch the meetings live on the City Cable Channel 18 or online at stpaul.legistar.com forward slash calendar. Past meetings are also available online for viewing at any time.